Hello everyone, welcome back to Dental 101's YouTube channel. Uh, we are back again with a new video on infection control tips that you can use on a technical day. My name is Albin and we'll be going through five tips today that can be useful for you that you can use in your examination. Okay, um, so the first tip is of course your hand hygiene, which is the most important and the first task of your day. Um, what do I mean by that is as soon as you enter your technical simulation room, um, have a look around and take a glance of your nearest hand hygiene station um, so that as soon as your bell rings, you can actually rush and finish off your hand hygiene protocols and come back to your station to start the task. I've seen that a lot of students um, do not um, actually uh, worry about this and take a lot of time in doing the hand hygiene, probably giving others a go um, and then just taking it very slowly. Um, and that actually takes a lot of chunk of their time in the first task. Um, so do not waste more than about five to eight minutes to finish all of the hand hygiene protocol, coming back, taking off the materials, and then um, doing your alcohol rub, turning the gloves and starting your task straight away in the 10th minute. Um, that's the first step. So find your nearest hand hygiene stations. There are sometimes a lot of crowd gathered around in the hand hygiene station. So try to figure out um, the station where some people don't even go. So the nurse might actually tell you, oh, that um, wash station is empty. Please go there, go and get your hand hand hygiene done and come back again. Okay. Um, your next task is the material allocation. Now, fortunately, unfortunately, we don't have a transfer visor anymore because it's an outdated um, protocol. So now we need to make sure that we take off all the materials and the consumables that we need and then put it on top of our bracket table or a toilet table, whatever you feel comfortable with. Um, my advice to you guys is to actually, um, on the day of the technical, you know that you're gonna perform three or four task at the before the lunch time and three tasks or two tasks after the lunch time you just take those materials that you need exactly um, during the start of the day so for example you know you're going to do your amalgam caries and endo um, you just take the at the start of the day so you just take those material and consumables that you need for those three tasks and then um, drop it on the bracket table or the top of the trolley whatever you feel comfortable with the main reason to say is that do not overcrowd your bay uh, do not overcrowd your trolley table uh, because there's always a chance that you might actually um, you know uh, when you're rushing through it and when you're nervous you can drop those things and again you have to follow all those viva steps just additional time that you lose that you can actually use um, you know in your technical day so only take those material that you need um, of the first half during the start of the day and of course when you come back from your lunch break after your hand hygiene protocol you can take whatever material you need for the next half at that time okay um, now third step is sharp disposals sharp disposals is one of the biggest thing that i think so they might be uh, marking us down on infection control protocols so if you feel that there's a lot of shops in your container, uh, make sure that you dispose them off. They, there should be no liability of them. My sincere advice to you guys is if you're using plastic cups to of course um, segregate your shops. Before you go for your lunch, make sure you dispense all the shop, including your scalpel, wedges, matrix band, and everything, fenta wedges, um, everything and anything which are shops. Um, so that even if, uh, you know when you come back again there's no shops left there and if they are marking you down in the lunch break for any kind of infection control they know that your bay area is completely safe um, and then of course at the end of the day you need to follow the same procedure dispose all your shop in the shop spin um, so that your bay area is very very safe okay um, and then um, fourth is keep your bay area very neat and tidy okay that's very important um, we have seen a lot of candidates uh, making the Bay Area very cluttery, very messy, very untidy because of a lot of instruments um, and a lot of things lying down on that area. Well, when you're doing the procedure, it's fine, but when you're leaving the patient going for a lunch break or at the end of the day, make sure that the entire area is very clean and tidy and they probably would be marking you on that as well. 
make sure your instrument cassettes are completely closed make sure there's no bars in the handpiece make sure that all the bars are in the bar block and you keep it shut all the time so that it's safe um, after you do all this make sure that um, all your general waste is in the sandwich bag which is provided on the side of your bracket table and all your shops is in the shop disposal bin um, if everything is safe and clean you can just shut off the lights uh, make sure that you use your high speed suction to take off all the waste from the patient's throat before putting the patient back upright um, and then you can probably finish your day during your lunch break or at the end of the day that's the fourth point and the last point last point again is infection control breach um, you have to understand that there are a lot of cctv cameras as well as in examiners and nurses roaming around to see if you are breaching any of the infection control protocols um, so for example if you tear a gloves um, during you know crown prep with a bar or um, you drop an instrument make sure that you um, turn your lights off take your patient up right back again make the area safe and call the examiner and tell them about this incident of course you need to also explain um, and give them a vibe about how you're going to rectify this infection control breach and you're good to go um, but do not at any point of time feel that i can continue with a tiered glass or a dropped instrument probably you would be marked down for those um, things heavily and you can actually not clear the uh, the cluster um, that's about it these are the five tips that we have for infection control all the very best for your examination and we'll be back with a new video keep watching